Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. This is another in our series on designing to automate. Robotics is challenging. Frequently, if you change your part design to facilitate automation, life gets much simpler. We make a lot of suggestions to our customers. Some of them are taken, some of them are not. This was a great idea, in my opinion, that was never implemented, but I'd like to talk about it anyway. So on hydro turbines at hydroelectric plants, they have something called wickets, and these wickets are what control the water flow in and out of the turbine. And this controls the speed of the turbine based upon the electrical load needs of the grid at any given moment. None of that matters, we're talking about welding here. But where the wickets actually close, the end of the wicket contacts the next wicket closer to it. Anytime you have metal to metal contact, you get corrosion. So the way industry has addressed this is they'll cut a groove in this wicket, which may be 10 feet long or more, and then they'll weld it up with stainless steel. So the end of the wicket contacts stainless steel, which is corrosion resistant, solves the problem. Well, here's the problem though, is how do you make this? First, you have to machine that groove, and then you have to weld it afterwards. Well, when you machine and weld on different machines, then you have issues of alignment. Wouldn't it be better if we could have one machine cut the groove and then weld the groove. If this was the case, then we would know precisely where the groove was. You wouldn't need any form of adaptive control, plus you'd only handle the part once. Well, typically welding machines don't remove metal. Here we have an example of where we do remove metal. This part, the groove was cut using plasma arc gouging. It's a great process, very infrequently utilized in industry. You can actually do machining with zero tool force with plasma gouging, and it's also very fast. Machine tools can't remove metal nearly as quickly as a plasma gouger. We're up to 130 pounds an hour metal removal rate. Admittedly, it's not as accurate as a machine tool, but I think we're holding tolerances of less than a sixteenth of an inch, which is more than adequate for what we're doing here. And then once the robot has cut this groove, we're using inexpensive plasma technology instead of expensive machine tool technology, then we're able to have that same robot weld the groove. And you can see this cross section here. The weld is stainless. We're cut into the groove. It was a great project. I was convinced it was going to work. Customer was uh, uh, unreceptive to new technology, so it's never been implemented. But it might apply to your world. If you need to remove metal quickly and and you need to remove particularly metals which are not easily machinable, plasma gouging is a great technology. When you combine it with robots, you can have the robot carve apart to any shape that you like. <clears throat> and if the robot cuts the groove, the robot knows where the groove is, you can weld it without adaptive control. Hope this helps you. Hope this applies to your next automation project.